Stephen Hawking says humans won't survive another thousand years if we don't escape the Earth, which sounded really scary until I remembered that I'll be dead by then. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for Dean News. At the Cedar sinai Regenerative Medicine Institute, one of the world's greatest and most respected astrophysicists of all time said that humanity is screwed. We're destroying our habitat, aka Earth, and he worries that technology has given us too much power. The 1963 Cuban Missile Crisis, anyone? The world has already come dangerously close to an all-out nuclear war on a few different occasions. Not cute. Today it's estimated that there are over 20,000 nuclear weapons in about nine countries. Of course, that'll be plenty to destroy the entire Earth several times over. And it's not just the blast or the radiation we have to worry about. Nuclear weapons emit particles into the atmosphere that make it impossible for vegetation to grow. The real question here is, why do we do this to ourselves? Come on guys, get it together! Honking explains that our genetic code carries selfish and aggressive instincts that were a survival advantage in the past. So basically, the lesser evolved of us are kind of dangerous. Excuse me while I grab my surprise face. Hawking's solution to the problem is to spread out into space because, you know, we need more planets to destroy. I'm sure the rest of the universe will be absolutely thrilled to greet humanity, the violent brat that takes without asking and doesn't learn from its mistakes. He predicts that we have a thousand years to do this, which seems like a ton of time to 23 year old me. Think back to 1013, we didn't even have light bulbs then. No printing press, radios, TVs, computers, not even home delivery pizza. It was a whole different world, guys. In 3013, especially with the snowball effect of technology, the world would probably be even more unrecognizable, including maybe humans being spread out into space. The main barrier to space colonization right now is all of the pending research, aka money, development, aka money and making it widely accessible to people, aka money. Our closest neighbors to look into, of course, are the moon, maybe a ginormous space station just outside of Earth. Mars, Venus, and Mercury are our closest planetary neighbors depending on the time of year, and they each have their own pros and cons too. So with enough resources, we can more fully understand the conditions of these alternative habitats and how the human body could or couldn't function within them. Hawking advocated focusing resources on this sort of space exploration for the future, and maybe not the sort of exploration where we attempt to find other life forms because they could be hostile. Seriously guys, what if those aliens we're looking for aren't that nice? I'm just saying. So Anthony, Trace, and I will be doing another live Google Hangout next week. That'll be on Tuesday, April 23rd, starting at 4 p.m. Pacific. So come hang out, check out the link below for more info, and I'll see you next time on DNews.